So let's take a little peek see at how the game plays. We're at the beginning of the second turn. Um, we have already dealt out the turn order for the, the cycle, is what it's called in this game here, cycle. Um, and Roadrunner gets to go first. Now she has a decision to make. She um, last time went with the Firefly route, which uh, let her pick up a lot of radio signals. However, she was penalized for that. I did, I just to uh, back up a second, I wrote the scores down on this sheet of paper. This is a lot easier solitaire than having one of these like little tabulation sheets for each person. It's really not necessary for me, though I could see how if you're playing with people that might be useful. This is, I do have to have this out though to re remind me that there's a point penalty as the turns go on. So you want to get rescued sooner um, because you want to have positive points. Correct? So presumably you can kind of figure out better ways to make points as the time goes on and your experience should help you there. So that's one reason you're going to want to go on paths that you know. Um, so Roadrunner knows the Firefly path, which is better than other people. So how I noted that was Firefly 4. So anytime she rolls a 4 she can add or subtract 1 to that roll. And each person here you can see which path they're good at. We had a double up on the spear path here um, uh, from Brezza and Sunny which which hurt them both. Um, anyway, so Roadrunner did that very charitable but she got a point penalty. So does she want to do it again? Well, she's going to need some assurances from the others that they're going to take care of her if she does this thing for the common good. Remember, we're doing tribal capitalism, so are they going to do that or not? I think, you know, our big power players last turn were Lefty and Pinky. Um, they took the outer paths here, got some good rolls to get food and whatnot, and then were able to make some advantageous trades and get the spears that Brezza and Sunny got. Um, so I think I think they're going to offer to to take care of her. It's in everyone's best interest to have someone do the firefly. Um, she wants to she wants them to help her get into positive positive score. If she gets a negative score this turn, she's going to refuse to go down the firefly path again. So um, she'll pick firefly. Now we go to the next person, Brezza. He has an issue with Sunny. If they both go down the bookworm path, which they both are experienced in they both get minus one for, from each kind of icon they go on. So if they were to land here, for example, and they wanted water, they wouldn't get any water because there's one less water there, so there's no water. If they go here, they would just be able to, if they go with the fruit, they would just be able to get one banana because the grape would be one grape minus one grape is zero and two bananas minus one banana is one. So it's it's not in their best interest to both go down the bookworm path. Um, I think Brezza thinks that Sonny isn't going to follow him again though because that hurt him. Though Brezza's pretty hurt too. He might want to try to go somewhere better. Sonny actually came out alright. I think Brezza... He's going to go down a path that no one... He's going to go down the... He kind of wants to go down bookworm. I think he might go down the... No, not the grasshopper path. I think he'll try to go down the spider path, which was, well, that was Hubba's path. That might be a problem. It goes down the spy, the grasshopper path. Let's take a look. There's water there. There's some food. Not a lot of food. If he gets, to the, I mean, that's really the good space. Grasshopper path is good if you want to get a lot of um, leisure, which could get him points. But Brez is also hungry, so he gets a penalty on that. I'm gonna take a look at what that penalty is and make some decisions based on that. Uh, see, he he is he can't get leisure and he can't use his experience, so it's not going to be advantageous for him to go down the bookworm path. He can't even use what he learned last time. This time, maybe in the future he would be able to. Um, also, spears aren't going to be as hot of a commodity since both of our fisher folk, uh, Pinky and Lefty, both have them already. Now, spears can break through use, so it's it's would be good if someone in the group went and got them. Um, but he doesn't get a I think he might go down this path. This well, no, I'm going. I'm going in circles here. He's got to think about if he goes here. He wants to go into a path that has multiple things because he's probably going to end up doubling up with someone. He doesn't want to go down the dung beetle path. The dung beetle path is like kind of a penalty path in certain scenarios. Um, the ant path Lefty was using. He doesn't really want to compete with Lefty. Um, 
Grasshopper path is too short and mainly leisure oriented. He doesn't want leisure because he can't get it anyway. Bookworm path, we've already talked about. Firefly path, again, he's going to compete with. Um, he's going to compete with Roadrunner, and also there's not a lot. He can he can just get bananas and water, and even one less. The sand crab path is tempting. It's got a lot of stuff, but you kind of need a spear to get a lot of it. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, and we made a decision. Um, everyone went down the path they went down last time, except for Brezza. He's going down the spider path. There's a lot of double ups, and there's a good mixture of food there. Um, it's really going to be a die roll, though. I mean, there's going to be a lot of luck involved, depending on how he does. Um, I forgot to mention a couple people are malnourished. The blue baby and Roadrunner, Lefty, is um, malnourished. What that means is they're not going to get experience this turn. And if there's a fight, they're going to get a minus to their die roll. So let's go through, and we'll just start things off with Roadrunner, and you can see how it works. So she gets to use her experience, but she doesn't get to gain any more after she finishes the path. Okay, she got a six, so she has to go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now here she has a choice. She has to choose between radio signal or um, flower leisure. She's gonna pick the radio signal. Now this is the citizen band. It's, um, I think, probably the easiest one to get on here. However, it um, doesn't come up very often. So at the end of each cycle, when we get to the market phase, uh, after we go through everything, we're gonna roll to see which which ones the rescue crews, which uh, band the rescue crew is um, monitoring. And then we're gonna roll dice based on how many people there are. And then and then if the die roll total is less than the number of signals found, then uh, they're rescued. So right now, with what Roadrunner has, the citizen ban is four. So we'd have to roll first on a 1d6 a 1. So that would give us the citizen ban. And then we'd have to roll uh, 66 underneath four. And so it's not really possible right now. So there's no really chance of their rescue until they get at least six of a, of a given signal. All right, so let's go on to the next person here. I lost my d6. It's too little. It comes with a really tiny d6, which I like. But uh, here's one here. We'll use this one. Um, but it's easy to lose. Uh, five. So whose turn is it? Uh, Reza. Brother has no experience, two, three, four, five, or relevant experience. So we're going to subtract one from whatever he chooses to get. Now, you can either choose to get fruit, in which case he's going to get an apple and a banana, or you can get eggs, in which case he's going to get one egg, or you can get water, in which case he gets one water. Now, let's look ahead. There's a couple of water spaces, not super likely. Looks like there's more food than water coming up. So although the fruit would be nice to get, he's going to go with the water, because um, you definitely got to have that. He needs to get food, too. Um, he's, in, he's in really rough shape. All right, let's move on to Pinky. Pinky got a one. It's not a bad roll for her, so she can get a bunch of water, which is probably what she's going to do, because she can definitely trade that. So she has, she has enough water to get a bonus point and also one extra that she can't even do anything with. Water, uh, you can't keep from turn to turn. There's different um, different roles for different goods you keep. Apples keep really well, bananas don't. Water doesn't keep at all. Um, so now Sunny goes, Sunny got a three. Now let's take a look, does Sunny have experience for three? He does, so he can either add or subtract one. So here you can either go straight three, which is pretty good. He gets a good amount of fruit there. You could go minus one and get some fruit or eggs. Plus one, get two eggs or a diamond or two apples. So eggs are nice because they're protein. Hmm. But then he gets three fruits if he just goes there. I think he's going to just go straight three. So he gets a grape. Grapes are kind of the rarest fruit, I would say. So that's a good trade item. Two bananas. Now, he can feed himself. That's enough food. So he's not going to go hungry if he just eats this, if he gets no other food. So that's good for him. All right, we'll go on. Hubba. Hubba's on the spider path, and he got a five. Now, is that his number? Nope, two is his. One, two, three, four, five. So they're in the same spot. And they're not going to fight or anything. They're just in the same spot. Now, I think he's probably going to make a similar calculation as Brezza. And I'm kind of going fast here and not really using their thoughts necessarily. Um, I think he sees her water there, and he thinks he's going to be able to make a deal with her if he gets an apple and a banana. Let's go on apple and banana. Oops. And then we'll roll again for the blue baby. Blue baby has a couple apples and a spear from last time. He got a five. That might be his number. Yep. So he can either go here, here, or here. If he goes here, he can get a bunch of fruit, or three fish, or two water. This is his best space. I mean, I think he's going to go with a bunch of fruit. He likes to have a lot of different items to trade. Well, no, this is his only chance to get fish, isn't it? He's going to be able to, probably going to get some fruit later on. I think he, even though he's good, he would get five fruit, I think he's going to go with the three fish. So he gets, he's going to roll, and on a one or two, his spear is going to be broken. It's not broken, so he's just going to get, he get the fish anyway, I think. He gets three fish. This is not most of the play of the game, this part. Most of it is when you're in the market and you're making the deals, and you're, you know, it's the decisions here and here that are mostly important. But this, this is kind of fun for me. I enjoy this part. Okay, so then we're going to go back around to Roadrunner. Roll. She got a three. Was that her number? No, nope, four is her number. So she's just got to go three, one, two, three. Now here she's got a fun choice. She can either um, trust the others to totally take care of her needs, like they said they would, um, or she can pull in the, her water needs right now. She would get three from the citizen ban, and that would make it possible for them to get rescued if they had really rolled a lot of ones in sequence. Um, looking ahead, she doesn't have any other chances to get water. Citizen ban isn't the most attractive. I think she's going to go with the water this time and hope someone will give her some food. Uh, they definitely want to, I think. So if no one gets radio signals, everyone's in trouble. Okay, so now it is... Brezza's turn, he goes two, one, two. Um, he's got his water. I think he's going to get himself a couple eggs. That's kind of a no-brainer, right? A couple eggs. That'll give him a, a valuable trading thing. Protein's generally harder to get than fruit. And it could help him survive. All right. 
I'm gonna put it on to Pinky. She got a two. Is two Pinky's number? Nope, five is Pinky's number. One, two. She can get a couple fish or a diamond. I think Pinky wants a diamond. All right. Pinky might see some competition soon in her track. She's got a nice... The same crab is a nice track if you have a spear. All right, now we go to Sunny. Sunny got a four. That is not his number. His number is three. One, two, three, four. All right, so he can get two spears or an apple. I think he's going to get two spears here. I'm the spear guy. And next is... So this part goes pretty quick. Hubba's turn. He got a four. Is that his number? Two, no. One, two, three, four. So he can get two eggs or some grapes and a banana. Now that's a tough choice. So two eggs would give him all the nutrition he needs. The grapes, though, and the banana would give him some, some trading strength. Oh, he's only going to get one egg. Or one grape is actually the choice. Egg or grape. I think he's going to go egg, just so he has all of his nutrition needs. Still doesn't have any water, though. All right, let's go on to Lefty the Blue Baby. He has a three. I think his number was five. Five, yeah. One, two, three. So he can get a bunch of fruit, some water, a little bit of water, or an egg. I think he'll go with a bunch of fruit. He's going to be in a good trading position with that fruit. There we go. And after Lefty, we'll go back around. Roadrunner has a four. One, two, three, four. Now here, she can either get some leisure or some radio signals. I think she's not going to worry about the leisure. She's going to get the radio signals because it's military, which is um, a one in three chance of it coming up. And they already have some. So that's going to make military possible for her if she picks it up. And she's close to the end. If you're at the end and other people are still going, every turn, you're going to get an, an additional leisure. So you, you really just want to get at least one leisure so you don't get that minus three. And then more, you know, if you get two, that's, that's all the better. So she's going to get her three military here. I'm really letting you see everything. There we go. All right. Thank you, Reza. He's got a three, one, two, three. He can either get nothing or one leisure. He'll go with the leisure. And he's gonna be hungry again unless he can make a good trade. Pinky gets a two. That might be her number. Nope, five. One, two, I picked a lot of twos and, well, no, threes, threes and fives. Okay, so here she can get a bunch of water. She's already got a lot of water. She could get some signals and help out there. Um, she doesn't really feel it necessary to do that. She's looking out, she sees some people could use water. Who could she trade water with? She could trade it with uh, Hubba, Sunny, and he has spears which are necessary for her. Reza could use water and Lefty, actually. So I, she, she already has three water. There's there's very limited water here, though. So if she takes three more, she's going to have a really strong trading position because there's not enough water in the pot now for other people to get. There's only one left. All right, so she's doing that, which is kind of a dick move. Um, but that's econ economics. Right, Sunny, two. Two is not his number, is it? Sorry, I have to keep checking. One, two. He could get some more spears or a leisure. He'll go with the spears. He likes that. Sunny always likes to spend a lot of effort arming himself. Um, that's great. Okay. So it's really nice to not be on a track with someone else. <laughs> We're seeing that difference there. All right. Poor Brez, if things don't go well for him, he might end up being on the dung, dung beetle track. Um, and it's Hubba's turn. He got a one. That's a good one for him. So you can get two eggs or one water, the last water, or you can get an apple. So the two eggs would be good for trading, right? Because he needs eggs. She actually needs some protein, but she might get some fruit. What, what does he have coming up? That's his, probably his last chance to get water. I mean, he's going to be under her thumb if he doesn't. Right now, if he gets the water, he has everything he needs to survive other than leisure. And leisure would just cost him some points. He wouldn't be hurt at all. Does he... I mean, he'd have to make a deal with her, with Pinky. That's a tough call. Does he go with the two eggs for the trading leverage? Uh, he puts himself at, at a pretty bad advantage. He's going to take the last water there and just maybe get some eggs later. All right. Ba -ba -boom. Lefty got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can either get a water or a banana. There's no water left, so he has to get a banana. Too bad. He was counting on picking up some, some water later on, but that didn't happen. Back around again to Roadrunner. She got a four that time. That's her magic number, so she could add or subtract one, but that's still going to take her out. So she, at this point, normally would pick an experience number, but that's, it's kind of hard for me to write right now, so I'm not going to have her do that. But Oh, but she's malnourished, so she doesn't get an experience number. Anyway, all right. So, But as it goes around, she's going to start getting leisure. And I forgot, he should not have been able to get leisure because he's hungry. So he actually got nothing off that space. All right. Back to his turn. So he's just going to be waiting there and not getting anything. Pinky's turn. Pinky's going nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here she probably wants to get some food. She's going to risk her spear. She'll probably trade for another one. Two. So her spear breaks. She's not going to be able to get any more fish, but she did get these two fish. Um, that's good. If she gets a fruit, she's looking nice in terms of feeding herself. All right, back to Sunny. Sunny got a two, one, two. Um, that's not his number. So does he want leisure or spears? I think he will take, or he could get a great one now. I think he's going to take spears. He wants to just have a lot of spears. It's good to specialize, right? All right. Hubba, one, two, three, four. Not this number is two. He can get one leisure or nothing, so he'll get a leisure. And so he has all his needs met right now. He's gonna get some He's gonna get some negative points because he just didn't eat that much, but he's not gonna get hurt. He's not gonna get negative points for water or for leisure, just for food. Food, you have to have six food in order not to get hurt, which people aren't producing that much right now. Alright, lefty, nothing. Back around to her. She's there, so she's going to get a leisure. She, she's at the 
mark it. And then Brezza, nothing. He doesn't get anything. Pinky's turn, she gets a one. Too bad she doesn't have a spear, so she would have had a good opportunity for some fish. So now she could get a banana and make sure she has her needs met or get some leisure. See, looking ahead, there's fruit, 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 fruit. There's fruit on every space, so I think she's going to go ahead and make sure she has her leisure taken care of. That'd be good for her, and that'll actually give her a couple of bonus points. All right, uh, Sunny. Sunny is here now. Um, he's going to get experience, I think. Yeah, just lefty is not, and she is not, and he is not. All right, and then forward to Reza. Okay, and here he can either get another leisure or another water. There's no water, so he's going to have to go with the leisure. And remember, I'm subtracting one from each of these categories because he shared that um, that path with, with Brezza this turn. Back around, lefty. Three, one, two, three. Six, four. Um, I guess i got to give her this. That six was for Pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's her chance to get fruit. She could get two more leisure. She's going to go ahead and get the banana, though. So she's not um, really beholden to anyone for anything. She has her food needs met. She probably wants more food, though. Trade that water for more food so she can not get as negative a points. Uh, Sunny's going to get a leisure because he is back home, or he's at the market just chilling right now. And that roll was for Brazo, which or Hubba brings him there. Lefty brings him out. And then we're going to go back around. She is going to get a leisure. And Pinky's going to roll. And if it's not a one, we're all at market. All right, we're all at market. All right, did kind of a quick trading thing. Um, this is difficult to do solitaire uh, for me to do all the trades uh, and while keeping the personalities in mind and keeping in like promises in mind. Um, something I I never quite can recapture what it's like to be with with other humans when I do solitaire uh, negotiating and all that. But here's how it went down. Um, Pinky got. Got four spears off of Sunny in exchange for two water. Uh, she she kind of held him to the fire for that uh, to get that. Um, both Lefty. I mean, it was kind of a it was a case where Lefty and Pinky were the haves. Everyone else was kind of the have-nots. Um, Brezza sort of was just off on his own. No one he didn't really make any deals with anyone. No one made deals with him. He had what he needed, and he but he didn't he didn't have any surplus. I mean, he's going to be getting negative points this turn. Um, but both Lefty and Pinky gave uh, food and water to Brezza in exchange for her promise to stay off of their tracks so that they don't have to compete with him. We'll see if he follows through with that or not. Um, they also both donated some stuff to Roadrunner. They didn't quite, she's, I don't know if she's gonna be getting, I think she's still gonna be getting negative points, but she can see also that there wasn't a lot to go around, really. I guess he has a little bit more. We'll see if she decides to, to continue going down the Firefly track or not. Um, what else? What else? There was a trade between Lefty and Pinky. I think he gave her some fruit or something for some water. Um, and now we'll go through and do consumption and all that. What could happen now, actually, is someone could uh, try to vote on a fight. Um, and I actually haven't done that. So I'll read that over and let you know how that works. Okay, so how it works is uh, anyone can pay one of their leisures to um, invoke government, which means they get to give a speech, and then everyone else gets to give a speech, and then they get to give a speech again. And then um, the speech has to do with whether or not pe whether people should fight people, basically. They can then decide to attack someone, um, and each person in turn can decide to either join that fight or start their own fight. Um, and if they start their own fight, start a new fight against someone, then they have to pay more leisure. No one really is interested in doing that right now. They don't have a lot of leisure. Everyone's kind of hurt. But the peep, the haves are kind of given enough of a pittance to the others that um, they are not rising up yet. Sonny was a little annoyed with that trade. If he had leisure, he might try to invoke violence. But right as it stands right now, he's not going to. So now everyone gets to decide what they consume. We're going to start, we're just going to go left to right here with um, with Hubba here. Now Hubba, you always have to consume all your leisure, so because that's just a, a unit of what you've been doing. So he got two leisure, so that's going to give him two points. We'll just keep that in mind. And then he has one water. That's going to be worth nothing, but he's not going to be dying of thirst, which is good. Um, and then he has three different kinds of food, a protein, and it includes a pro both a protein and a fruit. So we're going to look at this food types here. He has three, balanced diet, uh, that means he has both protein and fruit. So that's going to be plus three, so that's five points for him. But he only ate three 
units of food, so that's negative five. So he's going to have a net of zero, which is where he was before. So he's just staying right, right on the right in the middle, which is actually not bad considering that he was in an overburdened path. He had to compete with Brezza that turn. Uh, if he didn't have the negatives from Brezza, he might have been doing better. All right, then we go to Sunny. Sunny's going to get a bonus one because he has an extra water. And that's the most you can get off of water. He doesn't have any protein. Didn't manage to make any trades. Uh, if he had talked to Lefty, he maybe would have been able to get a fish, but I kind of rushed it. Um, this leisure is going to keep him at zero. One leisure, zero. Uh, the spears he just keeps. I don't think they, they're not in danger of going bad. Okay, so he's going to be malnourished um, right there. So he's going to go on this thing. Two food types, so he gets minus one. So that's going to cancel out his water. So he's at zero as well. But then he's going to get minus five for only having three units of food. Um, so Sunny is going to get an M for malnourished and minus five there. All right. well, now he wouldn't have to eat all this food. You don't have to eat at all. You can save things, but there wouldn't have been much of a reason for that. Let's look at Pinky. Pinky, she gets plus one for that. The diamond is something you can just save. She's going to get plus two for having two leisure. So she's at a total of three right now. Um, four units of food, only two types of food, but she's got a balanced diet. So she's got plus two for that. What did we say? She was at three, so that's five. Um, and then four, so she gets a, a positive of one. So she's our high score of three right now. Oh, but I forgot, everyone's gonna get minus one because of this. So she's actually at two. She got she broke even. Hubba went minus one. And where's Sunny? Sunny's at minus six. So They're not doing too well. All right, let's look at Roadrunner. A couple of waters, that's plus one. These three leisures, that's going to be worth plus three to her, so that's four. Four there. And then balanced diet, three different types of food, plus three. So that's seven. Right. But then she's going to get a minus six, minus five from that, and minus one for the thing. So she, people looked out for her. She got a, a net positive of one. She's at three, and she's no longer malnourished. All right, let's look at Brezza. Brezza gets one for that, but he's going to get a minus three for the leisure. So he's at negative two. Um, that's going to be a net. Well, that's uh, two types of food, balanced diet, plus two. What did we say? He's at minus two, so he's at zero. Um, and then he gets minus five, minus six. So Brezza is our low scorer at minus 13, but on the bright side, he's no longer hungry. So maybe he can do better next time. Um, then we have Lefty. Lefty gets nothing from that. He had no leisure, so he's going to get minus three. We'll just go ahead and make that a minus four. Um, if he eats all his food, it's going to put him at minus two. He's got three types of, uh, that's a plus one, right? So he has a total of plus one. So why do we say minus, well, I got to redo it. Um, no leisure, so that's minus three. Minus one for that. Um, he's got water. Three types of food, balanced, plus three. Right? You should, you should, you should say that minus one. And then if he eats all his food, that's another minus two, so he's at minus three. There we go. Sorry about that. But not malnourished, which is good for him. And that's how you do it. Then we're gonna we would total these up as well. So he had three more military, two more civilian citizen. Right? Yeah. One, two, three. Then we'll roll a die to see which band it's on. And that's six. So that would be the top forty band. That's the most they, they listen to the top 40 the most, but there's not a lot of top 40 signals out there. Where are they? There's one right there. There's one right there. So there's not a lot of that. All right, so 
you would roll 3d6, and if you got less than zero, equal to or less than zero, they'd be rescued. That is not the case. So our people are going to have to go back. Now, so the trading I did was just on a one-for-one -one basis. People could trade for non-binding promises as well. Um, like I talked about in my tell video, there's a lot of different ways that trading can can go. Um, in the a lot of the advanced games, you have a, you have commodity markets, and then taxes, and then wholesale, and then retail, and then yeah, I I haven't gone too much into that, but lots of different scenarios to look at in this game. Uh, lots of different things you can look at: gender discrimination modules. You have all these tack-on things that you can tack on to. Uh, yeah, it's a, there's a there's a lot of different game in here insofar as game is about the mechanism or not the mechanism the, the system of interaction between individuals and that they negotiate and compete in um, which I think is great it's got the simple roll and move thing going on um, but that that goes pretty quick and it's really about the different ends what decision you make here what what path you decide to go on and then a lot of it is just here that's why when I was videoing I was just videoing the cards most of the time well except for when you watch my extended roll and move but I did a lot of clips of of just the the cards because that's really where the action is it's all at the marketplace in this economic game